To find the fractal dimension by box counting method, we use the Microsoft Excel sheet. Format the rows and columns of the Excel sheet to form squares of certain scale. Paste the picture of the polygonal cancer cell obtained in hypothesis 1 and convert this picture into a Microsoft Office drawing object. Ungroup the picture and from the selection pane hide the auto shape. Now mark the number of squares that are filled up by the picture by the number 1. Keeping in mind to mark even those squares which just touch the picture. On completion, it looks like this. Now count the number of cells filled up and the dimension of the smallest square needed to cover the picture. The number of squares filled up is called n and the dimension of the smallest square required to fill the picture, to overlap the picture is s. Here n is 258 and s is 20. Now find the logs of both the numbers and note down the point to be plotted as log of s, log of n. Repeat this process for different scales of squares reducing the size of the square for more accuracy. It looks like this. Now in a Graphmatica file, enter the x coordinate and the y coordinate as log x, log s, comma log n values. The values obtained from the Excel sheet are plotted in the XY coordinates in the data plot here. Now we have to plot the line of best fit. Don't forget to mark the, degree, the order of the polynomial as 1 so as to obtain a line. Now selecting the curve of best fit, we obtain a line here with an equation mentioned as y in the slope point form, thus giving us the slope of the line which is the fractal dimension of the picture.